before we do we finish the waistband we have the option to trim the seam allowance here depending on how much seam allowance you have you may want to trim it a bit cut it in layers as I showed you before however it's best to do it with pinking shears so it doesn't ravel I don't I'm not going to do it now because I don't have my pinking shears for the moment I don't want it to ravel so the waistband um, two things are important when we line the waistband first is we're going to be sewing it into this ditch here that's where we're going to be sewing and of course we want to make sure that from the outside that looks neat and by sewing nicely into that line it will be practically invisible however from the back we also want it to be pretty and what we have to do is we're going to be folding this interfacing back fold it back enough so that when we saw it from this side we catch both layers that way we'll just have a single stitch there and the, the lining will continue a little bit and then go back and be caught in that same seam but by letting the lining continue a bit we're covering up all sorts of other things like where we attached the belt hoops for example will be covered under the lining now to make this look pretty on the back the line that we're going to be stitching here is going to be parallel to this one because we're going to be in this ditch however if you want to make sure that it's parallel to the bottom so where it's folded back then I advise you to first fold it back and press it in place and also baste it because it's not if not it's going to be practically impossible to do it tidy you also want to avoid getting wrinkles something like that so this will take some time what you do is you fold it back and then you want to keep this distance the same throughout your entire waistband you press it in place you baste it and then we'll go and sew it it doesn't really matter how you tell this lining to do what you want as long as you get it done but if you're curious I can tell you how I do it if you go down seven centimeters and then fold up the remaining three centimeters the edge here will be four centimeters from the top now since our waist centimeter is five we'll be catching it and that will be perfect so what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to put a pin regularly seven centimeters from the top so measure seven centimeters down and then just put the spin on so once that I've put these pins everywhere I flipped the trousers inside out, I've put them on my ironing board and I'm just going to align this fold with the pins and then press it in place. As you can see we flipped the trousers inside out again, or rather outside out, you know, regular. And with this fold in place now, this is looking nice. So what we're going to do now is we're going to baste this there in the ditch in place so we make sure we don't have any wrinkles and then when that's done I'm just gonna stitch it in that ditch all the way around and then we're gonna finish it by hand at the edges as you can see I've now basted everything in place the base stitch runs there in the ditch and then from the inside can see that when we sew it, the way it's pasted, it, it will be neat, clean, no wrinkles, and that will finish our waistband lining. At the end, I folded this tip under, and the same thing here. Just gonna sew it like that, and then that will be fine, and then we'll do some more finishing my hands at the edge and we're going to put on a bottom too or better remember to stitch in this ditch don't 
actually catch the waistband because they will show. So we have finished our waistband, or at least not the belt hoops yet, but the waistband is now properly attached and also the bottom we've sewn there in a the ditch and as you can see that has also fixed the lining. But now what I would normally do is install the buttons um, or hooks. You can do this as you please, so this will be the front of our trousers. now. I prefer to install a hook here, here, and then there and there. But if you want to make a buttonhole and install a button, you can do that too. Um, I would show you how to, except that I seem to be out of hooks and I'm going to put on hooks because I think that for dress pants it's nicer if you don't see a button and it's all you know nice and once flat. the hook is attached, you have to neatly fold this here where the facing stops and then we're gonna hand stitch that also shut. Instead we're gonna be finishing um, our belt hoops. So how do we do that? We just flip them upwards and then we fold them back as long as they need to be. There we go, make sure that we're nicely above so that they're nice and vertical. And then we're going to stitch on the top there, like a bar tag, to fix them nicely. Whatever is left over there, we're going to cut, and then we're going to move our belt hoop out of the side and zigzag over the edge so that it's nicely finished. I'm going to do that for all belt hoops now. One thing I like to do is when I when I'm going to attach my belt loops, I pin them in place with a pin like that so that you can stitch here. Still have some free space, but that way they don't move. Because if it moves a little bit when you're trying when you put your press foot down, then it won't be nice and vertical and that looks shit. There we go, L tubes done. Now if you make sure to catch this nicely on the edge, then in the back your sewing will be just above the lining. See? So it doesn't even show in the line. That's really nice. So now we're gonna just cut this little thing here, about half a centimeter, and then we're gonna zigzag it in place. If we ignore for a second that I don't have a, a button or a hook to put there, um, they're actually finished. We've got our belt hoops and everything is fine. It is all good, although that I put the belt hoops too much to the side. I should have put them more there. I see that now and I'm a bit of an idiot, but I don't know. Either it will be fine like this or I can move them or add some others. It's all good. We are almost at the end of what has been a long story. Um, we only have to hem our trousers, finish the bottom of them. Um, that won't take that long and that's going to be it then. Then we'll do a little wrap up and we're done.